I'm Sissy Sullivan. I'm Tracy Turner, and we're with the Sullivan Turner team at Maybaum Real Estate. And we are here Friday afternoon, July 10th, for the weekly wrap up. And we hope you all have had a, a great week. I hope you had a great Fourth of July weekend. We love this kind of arts and crafts style uh, flag that's here on the front porch of Oakley Cottage. And we're going to be back here tomorrow for um, live or later at 2:30 p.m. And you'll be able to ha you'll have a great opportunity to see this whole charming property. It's one of our new listings of this past week. Yes. And we've also listed another historic home off of Highland Park. Uh, so this one and Highland Park, I think, are our two historic mm -hmm. treasures uh, mm -hmm. that have just come on the market, and we'd love to, to share those and, and show them to you. Yes, and we also have a new listing in Cedar Creek at 2036 Cardigan Drive that has one of the most beautiful staircases in a newer home I've seen in Aiken. And then... Mm -hmm. Well, for those that are looking for some water property and a little bit of land, um, we have a couple new listings at Fox Hollow on the lake. Yes, we have a couple of five acre lots on the lake, plus we have a really cool mid-century modern inspired farm out in Rich Spring at 805 Boatwright Hill. I think you're going to be showing that farm tomorrow. Yes, I, I am. I am, and I think we have a, a few other showings at uh, that same property tomorrow as well. So I think there's a lot of yes, people wish that, us luck. <laughs> <laughs> that um, are intrigued about that one as well. Yeah, it's really cool. But um, so today we are here to give you all some inside scoop on what's happening in the Aiken real estate market and what is the word we're going to use for this week? We're going to say <laughs> we're busy. You, we've used the phrase get ready buyers be ready that's for sure mm -hmm. and we would say also be prepared for multiple offer situations yes. because we've had a couple that we've had to navigate for both sure. buyers and sellers yeah there we are seeing a lot more multiple offers and it, it is something that I think uh, takes a little bit of education and we're happy to share with you um, maybe we'll be able to do that something on our Sullivan Turner Facebook live. We'll put some information out there for you on that So you want to give them the wrap-up? Sure. The numbers. Okay <laughs> That's a really bad terminal. I can get better <laughs> Okay, all right new listings this week residential we had 55 land 47 Wow, that's a lot of land listings. Yes, i um, under contractor pending so the total new listings was 102 under contractor pending, we had uh, our Aiken MLS had 105 properties go under contract. And what's really interesting is that 93 residential properties went under contract. And then keeping in mind that only 55 residential properties came on the market. So is, again, the theme that continues, um, new supply mm -hmm. does not meet the demand. So we think over time that's gonna show some appreciation in prices. But also, again, with the theme, be ready buyers. Be ready and prepared to present an offer if you really like a home. Exactly. And then properties that closed this week. We had 68 sales in Aiken MLS. Uh, 60 of those were residential listings and eight were land. And we're proud to say that one of those residential <laughs> listings that closed was our listing in Woodside at 317 Willow Lake Court. And then also we uh, closed on one of our uh, lots in Barrington Farms. Mm -hmm. We did. And Barrington Thanks. Farms is selling through. So if you're interested in Barrington Farms, um, give us a call because there's, there's, just a, there's just a few five acre lots left. And then also at Wexford Landing, mm -hmm. uh, at Wexford Mill, there's only a handful of lots left there as well. So we hope you'll join us tomorrow at 2.30 on Facebook Live mm -hmm. for Live or Later here at Oakley Cottage. Um, this property uh, sits diagonally across from the Wilcox. It has some history tied to the Wilcox, and there is lots to see here tomorrow at 2.30. Thanks for joining us for the weekly wrap-up. Thank you.